Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Now, if you ever look at the back of your RV style refrigerator, because, well, honestly, you got nothing else better to do. If you actually look at that, you're gonna see that there are some coils back there. Can I just simply tell you that the coils themselves are metal and we've got a product in there called sodium chromate. This sodium chromate actually protects the linings of that metal because there's, there's ammonia and then there's hydrogen in there and there's water. But you know, if you mix water with, a, uh, with metal, you're gonna get rust. Well, we don't want these coils to rust, so we have a product in there called sodium chromate. It's a powder. It simply mixes around all those coils. As long as we are level, it mixes around all those coils and it protects those coils. Well, when we're not level, what takes place is that sodium chromate begins to stop in those coils and those coils are hot, right? And that, 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 that powder just begins to crystallize. Guys, it's like having too much cholesterol. It's the same thing that goes you know, wrong with your arteries. Well, that begins to crystallize and it creates you know, crystal forms and we reduce our flow, just like our blood it reduces the flow. Eventually it's gonna block it. And as we're adding heat, trying to actually refrigerate by adding heat, there's something for you. What happens is, is if we block the flow of all those water, all that water inside, then we actually can damage our coils and we'll have, uh, of course, a failure with our coils. So it's important to know just that whenever we're using our RV style refrigerator, it needs to be level. Now let me ask, you know, to go ahead and answer this. If you have a residential, is it less important? Well, typically, yes, you don't have coils there, but it's still just a good rule of thumb that you want that compressor to be level as well. Now, uh, granted, you know, having it off just a bit, it's not gonna hurt the compressor too much, but did you know the compressor almost works the same way? If we tilt that compressor over too much, we can begin to damage that compressor. So in all cases, Let's keep our rigs level, and that way your refrigerator can work better. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your rig, or let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs, and get started today. Uh, you get those little rocks, and then you have to pass rocks. Mm -hmm. The internal juices begin to crystallize, kind of like what's going on in, in your stomach. All right, previously I kind of talked, oh, hmm. well, I'm here to take care of all your questions. <laughs> right, this sodium, uh, <laughs>